video I'm going to show you how to use the Dynamics Pro if you have multiple businesses. So let's just say that uh, you sell real estate as your primary, but on the side maybe you sell Mary Kay or jewelry or whatever it may be. Um, and you want to use the Dynamics Pro um, for those businesses. Up here in settings, up here in the menu bar, you'll see the settings icon. And then also down here under the action center, you'll see settings right here on the right hand side. If you click on settings and then go to the mail merge uh, profile, which is the third one down. All right. And you'll notice in here is Jessica at kw.com for Keller Williams. And so if you're trying to sell real estate as your primary, but you want to use the Dynamics Pro to also sell, say, Mary Kay, um, it's going to look funny if you have a campaign going for Mary Kay, and all of a sudden in your inbox you get an email from Jessica at kw.com. Um, so... So really, it'd be really confusing uh, for the prospect or the client. So what I suggest is get a, because uh, whatever's in this email address right here um, is where, like if you're running a campaign or doing email blasts and things like that, this is the email that's going to show where it's coming from. So if I'm sending it to, you know, support at mydynamicspro.com, whenever we go into the support, email in the inbox it's going to say you know whatever's in here so it'll say jessica harris and then i'll have the email address at kw.com but if it's a mary Kay product that you're doing an email blast on that get very confusing so what i suggest is um you can actually i would first buy a domain that is kind of in general it's not really tied to your real estate business and it's not really tied to say your um, to your uh, Mary Kay um, business or jewelry business. And what I suggest is if you go to G Suite, so up here at the very top, G Suite.google.com, or you could also just go to Google in general and then just type in G Suite. Either way, and then I don't don't click on the ads right here. Make sure you find one that's not an ad. So go down here and you click on G Suite and then or you can just type in gsuite.google.com either way. All right. And you'll notice if you up here at the uh, upper right hand corner get started or right here in the middle or wherever it may be at the time that you watch this video, click on get started and then they're just basically going to ask you questions. So like for instance, uh, something general that you might want to do is for this example for uh, Jessica Harris, maybe something like uh, Jessica Harris 411 or Jessica Harris, uh, and then maybe pick your state or city and then do 411. So basically, let's just go in here and we're just going to put Jessica Harris 411. And it's just me and country is the United States. I'm going to hit next. And we're going to put Jessica Harris. And then current email address, uh, Jessica. Um, I'm not going to put in, I'll just put demo at gmail.com, whatever it may be. Or I could put hotmail. All right, so we're just going to hit next. So you just put your current email address in there. Uh, does your business have a domain? And say, no, I need one. Um, so you can purchase Jessica Harris. 411 or Jessica Harris Lakeland411.com and not have a website but purchase the domain and then set up an email that has that and that's what you would be doing in G Suite so I'd say no I need one and then it's just going to tell you to search for one so Jessica Harris411.com and then we'll hit the search and it'll tell us whether it's available or not and it is available for only $20 or $12 a year um, and then it'll say, you'll use this do domain to set up a G Suite. Create professional email addresses like sales at jessicaharris411.com. So if you did something like that, then you can actually um, put like jessica at jessicaharris411.com uh, or info. So if you were running... 
your um, real estate business and your Mary Kay if you received an uh, email from info at jessicaharris411.com. It's not tied to the real estate and it's not tied to your Mary Kay. Um, and then that way you can run your business, both businesses, out of your Dynamics Pro. Now, of course, you can purchase a separate Dynamics Pro account. You just have to pay the uh, monthly, uh, uh, the monthly. Um, installment on that so it would be an extra additional you know monthly installment on that um, so you could do that however if you wanted to do something like this it would save you some money and then you could also run your campaigns out of this uh, account so um, so anyway you just basically click on there and follow the uh, the bouncing ball on it so uh, you just put in your business information and things like that and just keep on hitting next and then uh, G Suite will actually help you set that uh, email up for you so um, if you have any questions, email support at mydynamicspro.com. Thanks for watching.